into Beijing. All right, Dwight, and back on the track. The pack has caught Brent Vaughn. He's still in front, but uh, no more big advantage. Asmaram is second. Goucher is third. Then Solinsky, Morgan, Lagat, Dobson, Tegenkamp, Riley, and Curtis. Vaughn did a nice job of getting things strung out and getting things rolled. Now we need another pace setter to get up there and keep things rolling. This is where we may have that pregnant pause as they kind of gather and decide, okay, who is it that wants to take over from here? I know who it isn't going to be. I don't think it's going to be Bernard Lagat. I think, as I talked to Coach Lee, he said he just wants him to get through as easily as possible. And so Bernard's great gift is that he can match anyone's strategy, really. If someone wants to surge in the middle, he can go with them. If somebody wants to go long and hard with three or four laps to go, he will be on their shoulder. Or if they want to wait and do a kick down the down the last hundred meters, we've seen at the World Championships that he can beat anybody. Well, he's about sixth right now, and you say any strategy appeals to him. He actually has to trick himself sometimes in order to complete this 5,000. My mind will be telling me, you know, it's longer than 1,500. And when you look at the laps, you feel like, oh, we have nine laps to go. So I tell myself, don't be worried about the laps. Don't even look at the laps. Just go with the flow of the people and just follow me. And eventually, if it comes down to the last 800 meters, when you're close to them, then becomes a 800 meter run. And so, he's going with the flow indeed. He is uh, sixth or seventh, running along easily. Behind uh, Vaughn, Asmaram, Goucher, and Dobson. And the Taken Camp is uh, starting to track Lagat too, staying right on his heels for the moment. And one other thing that's been very good for Bernard Lagat in terms of his strength is he does some of his training in the winter and spring with Abdi Abderrahman, one of our top one of the U.S.'s top marathoners and ten, a favorite for the 10K uh, coming up this weekend. And the fact that he's able to endure these long runs, which at first Abdi would drop him on these long runs, he has been able to raise his game strength-wise, and that's one of the things that's made him such an accomplished 5,000-meter runner. Bernard Lagat looming in second place now with five laps to go. So Adam Goucher has taken over the lead and Lagat follows him into second place. So it's Goucher in front and Lagat in second. Asmaram is in third place at the moment. And Goucher was down by about 10 seconds from where he wanted to be. So I think that's why he's taking this valiant measure right now to try to somehow will himself to that Olympic A standard and it, it's a real sacrifice because you can see that the rest of the field is glomming onto him and is going to follow him. Remember now Adam Goucher has to finish in the top three and get the A qualifying standard in order to go to Beijing. So he has double duty here as he leads them into the straightaway. Asmaram and Lagat are tracking him in second and third. And Goucher leads with four laps to go. Coming up with four laps to go. What about his pace? Well, 9.22 with four laps to go. That would mean he would have to run about, what, four minutes for a, a sub four minute 1600. Uh, I don't think that's going to happen. Now, I talked to Alberto Salazar before. He said if they got to a place where Adam Goucher was going to be mathematically eliminated, he would pull him from the track. But it looks like he is invested at this point in time. It looks like all chips are in. We'll see. Adam Goucher leading Asmaram. Lagat is in third. Dobson now fourth. Solinsky fifth. Pagan Camp is sixth. It's all chips in at this point in time. He's committed and he's going to continue running as hard as he can, trying to burn those off. The guys behind him, Asmara, Asmara's looking great here. And he's one of the faster guys in the field. He's run a 149, 800 meters. That's, that's pretty darn quick. It hasn't been a few years, but now he's in the lead. Asmaram passes Goucher with three laps to go. Legat following him to the front and now is in second place. 
Then it's Goucher third, Dobson is fourth. Tegenkamp and Solinsky. Lagat, as I said before, which e with each move we see Lagat covering that move and just putting himself in position, positioning himself in second place. But not Tegenkamp, uh, Ian Dobson coming up on the outside right there. Now Chris Solinsky looks to be making a move. We knew that this would happen. Solinsky knows he has to push the pace with at least 800 to go and with a K to go he has stepped on the pace and is going to grind it. This is going to be a long grinding kick. He believes that his chance to make it through is with this long drawn out kick. So Solinsky takes over the lead with Asmar on second and Lagat in third. And they have two laps remaining. Fifth place, that's Matt Tegenkamp, and Goucher has now stepped off the track. Here's Goucher. Goucher just leaving the track. You heard him say that if he doesn't have a chance, he'll step out. He's going to try for the 10,000 later on.